So the first thing we see we in here is this list on the left hand side. So we need to create some tools if you haven't got anything in here. So let's click on this icon, open it up, and at the top here you see we've got selection for whether we're doing flame, water jet, or plasma. So obviously we're, we're targeting plasma with this video, so we're gonna click on that. Uh, set at 1.5 mil kerf. So again, your kerf is the width of your cut. So if you anticipate you're gonna be cutting at 125 amps, then potentially you want to have a wider kerf rate, and that's what's gonna offset your plasma cut further from, from, your, from your profile. So let's call this one here uh, plasma, and we're gonna make it a lower amp one, so we'll say it's 60 amp, and again, our kerf is set, or our width of cut is set at 1.5 mil. So thinking about the range of different options you might need, you might want a 60 amp one, or a 45, a 60, an 80, a 125, whatever, for the different types of jobs you're gonna do. If you're doing 25 mil plate at 125, you'll need a wider kerf. So let's save that. Cool, now we've got this tool here over on the left hand side. The other thing we need to do, and you won't be able to activate your machine unless this is done, uh, we're gonna come into options, machine, and post processor. Now for all of the ArcPro units, they all work with this selection here, it's called start. So as you can see, there's a whole heap of different machines uh, that this can talk to. Some machines will talk to uh, sheet cam better than others. <coughs> and uh, some, some features will activate with different machines where they won't with, with yours. Um, so let's select start. Again, we've done that once. We'll never need to do that again. That's, that's done. So next thing, let's import a file. So we've used whatever program to create some DXF files. This is where we import them. So we go File, Import Drawing, and whatever your drawings are called, we'll chuck one in here. Now it's asking here, yeah, we want a metric, uh, whereabouts do you want it on the sheet? This doesn't mean that your file needs to stay in that position on the sheet, it's just a starting point. So here we go, we've got our file, it's on the sheet. Now, I can't see the whole sheet, it zoomed in for me, I'm thinking, oh, how, how big is this shape? So using the center scroll on your mouse, you can go in or you can go out. Now, if you want to change the position of where the sheet is on your screen, you can see this is slightly off center, we can click, left click on the mouse, hold down and drag it across. Um, yeah, cool. So the next thing we do to do is we've imported a shape. Yeah, you can import other shapes, you, uh, or in this case, we're gonna look at, at putting multiple of the same shape on the sheet. So I'm gonna then come up to operation, uh, sorry, uh, mode, mode it is, and nesting. Yep, and it's gonna bring up, in theory, uh, here we go. Actually, sorry, no, we're gonna have operation, uh, plasma cut, yep, had it right the first time. Uh, now, have a look at what we've got here. So inside offset. So that means that our cut is on the inside of the shape or outside, you can see the, uh, the diagram there, it's kind of self-explanatory. Um, I'm gonna go for inside offset with this, so it's gonna go on the inside of these holes and the outside of that shape there. Uh, now with layers, essentially if you have multiple shapes on there, so if you had a complicated shape, you can tell it, you can designate which layer you want to cut first, also which part of the shape you want to cut first. By leaving it on default, you're telling the machine, hey look, just whatever you think's best, go and, go and race around that and chop that area out first. Uh, so again, if we've got multiple shapes or a complicated shape, you can say you want this part here is layer one, this part is layer two, this part here is, is layer three. Uh, again, with some machines, you can actually set your feed rate or your cut speed in this area here, and you can designate that when you're cutting out the shape here, that it will increase or decrease speed. With the Arc Bros, we've got a separate, um, we're actually gonna set that on the, on the CNC machine itself rather than in the nesting program. So the next part that's important uh, you lead in, so here I've got it set on arc, uh, so it's creating it like a semicircle. 
with a three millimeter lead in and lead out. So if you had a really small, <clears throat> really small shape, and you had a really small hole, and you might want to decrease that that lead into a to a smaller amount. Equally, equally so, like again, if you're doing a 25 millimeter plate, you are 125 amps. You might want to increase that lead into to five or six mil, so that you're not getting any um, distortion in your shape from from the lead in from the cut. So let's uh, again, I've got this set on on three mil for the lead in and the lead out. Let's click on that, and see what happens. So again, I want to zoom in and see what's actually going on with my shape. So I'm going to use the scroll button on the mouse. And again, I'll, I will um, hold down the left hand button and just zoom it across the screen a bit. Now, as I'm, as I'm zooming in here, you can see here's our arc tangent. Uh, so, yep, look, hey, I've done it wrong. Yeah, sure. I've done the uh, offset on the wrong side. So. Yep, let's change this. So we'll go back to operation, plasma cut, um, change it to outside offset. Click on that. Well, okay, cool. That's a good example. So it's done it on the other side, but it hasn't changed my old one. This is where it's cool. Like Microsoft, uh, we can go Control Z, Control Z. Um, I'll scroll back here. And it removes the last step. Neat. Easy to change, right? So again, Operation Plasma Cut, Outside Offset, OK. Let's scroll in again. Yeah, look at that, we're sorted. So my semicircle, my offset is now in the right place. Awesome. Shape's looking good. Hang on, shape's off the, uh, off the outside. I click on it, I can drag it. So again, there was a left click, you can put this anywhere in the sheet. So now let's have a think. We want to do multiple parts on the same sheet. We can go mode, nesting, and now right click on our shape. We can go uh, duplicates or we can do array parts, um, whatever. Look, have, have a play, you'll work it out, it's not hard. Um, number of columns, number of rows, number of parts you want, uh, spacing between parts. Obviously, the name of the game is to um, maximise your, your sheet efficiency. Cool, look at that, awesome. So now one thing I'd say with, with Sheet Cam, Sheet Cam's free, awesome. Uh, the free version will let you do a lot. The downside of the free version is if you have a complicated piece of, uh, or a complicated shape, so you've got a word with multiple, multiple start points, um, it will not let you do that. It will limit your amount of start points. So to buy Sheet Cam, I think was about 250 New Zealand. Um, I think it's a good investment. Um, me, that said, I don't do cutting all the time, so I'm still using the free version and, and it works fine. Um, so we're, we're kind of ready to go with this. We've got our four shapes on there. They're looking okay. Um, again, if you need to rotate them or change them, whatever, you can, you can click on them and shift them, or you can right click and, and alter them from there. Uh, now, again, in a Microsoft program from here, you would go File, Save, and do that. Um, what I found is, is that I was sitting there going, well, why is it not converting it to, 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 um, to G code so I could put it into a, into a CNC and work, and it just wouldn't work. Uh, you need to use this thing here, this little green uh, play button, and you can see it's turned it into G code from DXF. So now I can save it as whatever, um, with, with, a, with an Arc Pro, you want to be saving it onto your flash drive from here, and then you can import it into your machine and it's good to go. So essentially, let's uh, ignore that. that it's, yeah, it's just a message that comes up, but essentially that's Sheet Cam. It's pretty straightforward. Um, again, if you're doing cutting all the time, it's, it's likely worth investing in the um, in the professional version so they don't have any limitations on what you can do. But this, uh, I, I haven't found any restrictions on how many files you can save. Um, and again, if you're doing basic shapes like this, it's, the free version is more than enough.